It's the winter break in the Bundesliga. And of course, Cedinho is probably chilling and enjoying life. Knowing him, he's probably watching his own highlights on repeat or just staring at his player of the month collection. By the way, this is a flex. But for real though, Cedinho has earned a bit of a vacation. 15 goals in the Bundesliga so far. Top scorer, even more than Harry Kane. This is in spite the coach benching Cedinho, playing him as a cam and all that sort of nonsense. Cedinho always comes through. Even though Cedinho deserves a vacation, there are some really disturbing media reports about him. The media reports that Cedinho has been caught multiple times heading to the local McDonald's. Bro, for a professional footballer, even on vacation to do that, it's it's unacceptable. Okay, Cedinho at least has responded. I don't even eat that much McDonald's. Stop spreading the rumors. Oh, what is this? Cedinho video leaked? Hey, you're calling me a clown as well? You can't beat these allegations, Medinho? Come on, man. It's not like there's concrete proof that Cedinho has been going to McDonald's as a professional footballer. Oh no, he's posted it himself. Winter break equals time to treat myself. Bro, he's on a two burgers, fries. I don't even know what this is. McFlurries as well. And he's still chilling with that plate of the month award, bro. If Cedinho's eating this every single day, this is going to be disastrous when the Bundesliga season resumes. Although, do you guys rate this order from Cedinho? The McDinho goat meal, apparently. Nice. I'd rate this McDonald's order 8 out of 10 at least. But you guys are rinsing Cedinho. Have some shame. Bro doesn't have a cheat day. He has a cheat week. Ay, ay, ay. Yo, yo, yo. I hope this is not what happens to Cedinho once he's back in training with Wolfsburg. That would be unbelievably sad. One eternity later. No way, guys. McDonald's madness for Cedinho during the Bundesliga winter break has actually had an effect on him. Bruh. Cedinho is 253 pounds which is 114 kgs. Yo, he's bulked up massively, but I, I see a lot of McDonald's in there, I guess. It's it's not bulk, it's it's probably just fat. Oh no, Cedinho. Looks like the McDonald's has caught up on him, boys, because look at the pace downgrade. He's lost all of his pace stats. No way, Cedinho's pace is now 72. Cedinho's back in training now, and he feels so much slower and just, just not the same. Bro, this isn't the Cedinho I know. It does look like Cedinho technically he still has stability. He's just completely beefed up and has become a bit of a beast. And also, Cedinho's McDonald's obsession, apart from gaining him a crazy amount of weight, losing all that pace, also the manager does not trust him anymore. He's been put on the bench again. I guess there's only one way to bring Cedinho back to what he once was, and of course, it's stopping a bit of McDonald's. No more of that. But for real, it's all about constantly playing on the pitch and staying fit. I think Cedinho can do that. It's gonna be really tough to play well with this version of Cedinho. But we're gonna have to just make it work. The Europa League knockouts is about to come very soon. And since we topped our group, I'm confident we could guide Wolfsburg to a Europa League title. But before the round of 16, Cedinho needs to get back to being fit on the pitch. And it's time for Wolfsburg to play Hoffenheim. Every game like this, Cedinho scores in. I think he's going to get a bit more fit. And we need that before the Europa League resumes. By the way, guys, if you believe Bergardino can drop the kilos, I need y'all to subscribe to the channel. Also, look at this, boys. The journey is going to be big because, yep, the weighing machine is broken when Cedinho stands on it. One more thing, though. Now that Cedinho has lost his pace, playing as a cam, I don't think it's going to work. But remember, we gave a message to the gaffer that enough is enough. Time to put Cedinho back at striker. And I mean, when the top scorer of the club decides to say that, you've just got to listen. And so Cedinho is back to being a striker. And because of Cedinho being unfit, he's been put on the bench. Okay, guys, Cedinho looks like a completely different player, man. Look at how slow he's running yo there's no pace tell you what being on the football pitch and just jogging around here and there is probably gonna help Cedinho for sure but my goodness it feels like we've been completely nerfed oh boy at least we can pass the ball that's a good thing come on let's see if Cedinho can use his strength and win the header well it, he did win it but he had no control over where it went oh wow we're gonna actually concede nope no way Pickford good save oh Cedinho okay well, the dribbling is a bit sus, but he gets it back. Still, Cedinho. Oh, come on. First shot after Cedinho has been completely enough. And he might be going for another one. Left foot, Cedinho. Didn't really work. No way. Are we actually going to concede? Oh, my days. Pickford, what a save. Oh, my God. Cedinho's first touch is so bad. Okay. 
Okay, going through, but no pace whatsoever. Cedinho somehow still doing it. No, the keeper saved. If he had pace there, Cedinho would have just run through. In the box, though, with an increased amount of nope. strength. And no, still the header was saved. Full time, and I think it's fair to say it will take time for Cedinho to get back to normal. Well, at least the manager is slightly gaining more trust than Cedinho. He was super annoyed, probably, with all the McDonald's that Cedinho has been eating. I think, yeah, from now until the end of the season, it's a ban on Cedinho eating eating mcdonald's somebody just said bro gets more calories than girls i mean this needs to stop gotta spend some time on the training pitch getting the the hours in the runs in because that's the only way Cedinho will get back to being his former self he has completely messed things up of course at this winter break it looks like training is definitely helping Cedinho get back into the good books of the manager all right just one week of training and Cedinho is slowly getting back into shape he's getting back some of his pace as well but what Cedinho needs to really do is get back into this starting 11 and that'll only happen if he can start scoring goals bulky dino is now trying a new dribbling style which Honestly, he's working. No. Yeah, he keeps going, but he just can't seem to get the goal. Oh, there's Cedinho making a run. He's not got the pace anymore, but he's a presence in the box for sure. That didn't really count for anything. Oh, there you go, Cedinho now Thank with the you. chance, but he's not got any pace. This is so frustrating. Okay, Cedinho might finally have a chance here as he gets fouled. No, he doesn't. He's trying to dribble, but it's an absolute struggle. Here we go, though. Here goes. This might be the chance. We might see a goal from Cedinho. No. Guys, he's been completely nerfed. I'm just hoping we can get back to normal before the Europa League. Otherwise, it's going to be a second season in a row where Cedinho does nothing in the Europa League. As the game ends, Wolfsburg thankfully win. But this is bad. All right, boys. Things should get easier for Cedinho as he's kind of getting back to normal. And that pace is going up ever so slowly. But Cedinho needs to soon get back into the starting 11, man. Preferably before the Europa League. Once again, coming off the bench this time i need to see Cedinho score oh Cedinho, he's still lacking pace but he's got a bit of strength now so he can hold off players and a chance Bruh. but what was that for a shot once again Cedinho gets the ball this time on a stronger right nope. foot goes for goal i cannot believe everything's being saved another chance Cedinho's header goes right above the crossbar bro Cedinho just <clears throat> tumbled away he's got no balance as well oh Cedinho for once he's gone through but look at him struggle he's got no pace but he's still gone through and he gets the goal Bergardino scores for the first time let's go boys and i don't think this celebration fits him right now but i guess this is him saying that he's got the McDonald's under control. Oh, here we go. Cedinho gets another chance. Should score. And does that second goal for Bergadinho. He's back, boys. Cedinho is back. No way. No way. 89th minute hat trick. 89th minute hat trick. No, Bergadinho. Maybe if his reflexes would have been better there. I wouldn't say it's still peak performance, Cedinho, but I'll say this. He's getting there. Oh, man. We're soon going to be a starter once again. I think the manager now kind of respects me for getting back in shape. Really close to getting back to what Cedinho used to be. And he's getting back his pace as well. It's transfer deadline day now, and I'm curious has Wolfsburg made any transfers? I don't think there have been any new teammates for Cedinho. Oh wait, no, they have signed someone, but it's a 74 rated left winger. Nothing to be excited about. And they've signed this kid called Sam Curtis, who is a 70 rated right back. Let's see on deadline day for Wolfsburg surprises, putting in some new teammates for Cedinho that can help him win the Bundesliga and maybe even the Europa League. I guess not, because I don't see any new players in here. Talking about the Bundesliga though, we're fifth in the league, only six points off Borussia Dortmund at the top. Bro, if Cedinho can get back to full fitness we might be able to even challenge Dortmund for the title but first we need to just get back to being a starter and I think with this training session yup Cedinho is gonna be back to being a starter back to being a starter boys let's get some goals and fire Wolfsburg towards that Bundesliga title okay okay we're gonna concede first are you kidding me we almost just did oh go Cedinho the extra pace that he's just got back it's really helping him should nope. be able to score I can't believe he doesn't finish those chances but I'll tell you this Cedinho is feeling a lot more like himself right now he's able to get past players play those passes as well Malakia go on ah oh, he should have scored oh oh 
What did Cedinho just do then? What a finish, bro. The trickster playstyle came through for Cedinho there. I'm not even sure if Cedinho had an idea of what he was trying to do there, but fair enough, it worked. Asking for the cutback as we're going for more. Nope. And Cedinho, come on. Go on, Cedinho. Go on. Oh, ho, ho, what a finish from Cedinho. Let's go. He's getting closer and closer to back to being his best. And there you go, guys. Consistent goals from Cedinho, helping his team get the wins. Man of the match awards as well. Back to being a starter. This is what we want. Bro, this is actually wild. We're making a crazy push for the title with only four points off Dortmund. And also, guys, a bit of good news. Cedinho is so close to being back to normal. Just a little bit more and we'll have our pace back. Cedinho is now leading his team against Bayer Leverkusen. We win this game. We're going to be in the title race. And I think Cedinho should be back to full fitness. Come on, boys. We're playing as a starter as well. Last time we scored a couple of goals. I want more of that. There he goes. There he goes. Cedinho. Maybe a power shot from distance. Why not? Sometimes you just got to go for it. I'll tell you this, though. Our pace is so much better than before. We're, I'm, I'm feeling so much more agile with Cedinho. I can take a lot of those shots. I can dribble as well. And it's making things a lot more easier. There you go. Cedinho gets his first of the night. This version of Cedinho, now that he's focusing on football, it's unstoppable. No, 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 no. Julian Alvarez. What's he doing in Bayer Leverkusen? Fair enough. Argentinian World Cup winner. We're up against him in this game. We, we can't let him outshine us. No way. Granit Xhaka. Nope. Granit Xhaka's not scoring against us. Go on, Cedinho. He's not going to let Julian nope. Alvarez outshine him, but he's got to be beating the keeper. I'm waiting edge of the box and I do get the ball. We're going to strike it. Ah, deflection. No way. Am I seeing Griezmann play for Bayer Leverkusen? These guys have got a super team. No way. Griezmann has just done us there. Oh my days. I still can't believe Bayer Leverkusen have got Antoine Griezmann, but he's just this destroyed us there. Guys, I'm taking a free kick from uh, the halfway line. I do not know why, but maybe it's because I'm going to go for goal from here. Oh my days, that was literally like a pinball. Ah, oh, it feels like after a long time we've lost the game and it's annoying. But you know what? At least we have some good news. Look at that. Cedinho is back to being his usual self. No more Burkadinho. He's back to normal. And that means we're going to get him his pace back. Let's go. We've also got some skill points left and now that we're going to be a striker, I'm going to try and improve Cedinho's heading accuracy just makes sense. And straight up, we're now 87 rated. But now that Cedinho is back to normal, he's got a monumental task in the Bundesliga to get Wolfsburg towards the top. Plus, the Europa League is about to resume. Winning a trophy with Wolfsburg would be something absolutely iconic. And Cedinho is going to give everything to make that happen.